During Mass at the Cathedral of Almudena in Madrid, with 4,000 seminarians from across the world, Pope Benedict XVI encouraged them not to be intimidated by surroundings that would exclude God. Before the Mass began, the Pope was greeted by the Archbishop of Madrid, Cardinal Antonio Maria Rouco, and by a seminarian, who told him, It is not easy to be witnesses of Christ today, Holy Father. It is very difficult to connect with non-believers and with those who are far away. Through our future priestly commitment, and motivated by the charity of Christ, we wish to offer the hope of the gospel to this world of ours as the greatest treasure that the Lord has given us. We ask, Holy Father, that you entrust us to Mary Most Holy, our Mother, so that we can be faithful to it and so that we can become other Christs in this world. With hundreds of bishops and priests concelebrating, the Pope delivered his homily in which he called on seminarians to give thanks to God for having chosen them. I am very pleased to celebrate Holy Mass with you who aspire to be Christ's priests for the service of the Church and of man, and I thank you for the kind words with which you welcomed me. Today, this Holy Cathedral Church of Santa Maria la Real de la Almudena is like a great upper room where the Lord greatly desires to celebrate the Passover with you who wish one day to preside in His name at the mysteries of salvation. Looking at you, I again see proof of how Christ continues to call young disciples and to make them His apostles, thus keeping alive the mission of the Church and the offer of the Gospel to the world. As seminarians, you are on the path towards a sacred goal, to continue the mission which Christ received from the Father. Called by Him, you have followed His voice, and attracted by His loving gaze, you now advance towards the sacred ministry. Fix your eyes upon Him who through His incarnation is the supreme revelation of God to the world and who through His resurrection faithfully fulfills His promise. Give thanks to Him for this sign of favor in which He holds each one of you. The Holy Father encouraged seminarians to pray to God for the strength to be faithful to the gospel during their formation years. Meditate well upon this mystery of the Church, living the years of your formation in deep joy, humbly, clear-mindedly, and with radical fidelity to the Gospel, in an affectionate relation to the time spent and the people among whom you live. No one chooses the place or the people to whom he is sent, and every time has its own challenges. But in every age, God gives the right grace to face and overcome those challenges with love and realism. That is why, no matter the circumstances in which he finds himself, and however difficult they may be, the priest must grow in all kinds of good works, keeping alive within him the words spoken on his ordination day, by which he was exhorted to model his life on the mystery of the Lord's cross. The Holy Father underscored the call to radical gospel fidelity, and said priests must be configured to Christ and become good shepherds of their flocks. That said, Christ the High Priest is also the Good Shepherd who cares for His sheep, even giving His life for them. In order to liken yourselves to the Lord in this as well, your heart must mature while in seminary, remaining completely open to the Master. This openness, which is a gift of the Holy Spirit, inspires the decision to live in celibacy for the sake of the Kingdom of Heaven, and leaving aside the world's goods, to live in austerity of life and sincere obedience without pretense. In concluding his homily, the Pope exhorted seminarians to follow the example of St. John of Avila, the patron of diocesan clergy in Spain, and to always keep their eyes on Mary. With this confidence, learn from him who described himself as meek and humble of heart, leaving behind all earthly desire for his sake, so that, rather than pursuing your own good, you build up your brothers and sisters by the way you live, as did the patron saint of the diocesan clergy of Spain, St. John of Avila. Moved by his example, look above all to the Virgin Mary, mother of priests. She will know how to mold your hearts according to the model of Christ, her divine Son, and she will teach you how to treasure forever all that he gained on Calvary for the salvation of the world. Amen. 